Electronic Sounds Audio, the YouTube channel for you. Hey, what's happening, guys? It's Dean from Electronic Sounds. Stick around. Mazatron sent over their quad cutoff module for me to show you, and we're going to get into some really creative ways that you can use it in your setup, including a really magical way that you can use it on techno kick drums. Come on, let's have some fun. So what is the Mazatron quad cutoff module, and why am I so excited about it? Well, friends, it's four low-pass filters, but they're very special low-pass filters. These are four six decibels per octave low-pass filters. There's no resonance here, and they're just very, very gentle low-pass filters. This is really reminiscent of a tool that I'm using all of the time when I'm EQing my tracks. Let me show you that. What we're looking at here is the FabFilter Pro 3 EQ plugin, and this is absolutely my favorite EQ to use. Many of you might be already familiar with this plugin from using it on desktop, and for those of you who are not aware, it's also available for iPad. What we can do is if we put in a high cut filter, by default, Pro Q3 uh, puts that at a 12 decibels per octave slope, and we can cut quite a you know bit of the high frequency content off of that sound. We can even go so far as to create a 96 decibels per octave slope, and we get a very very steep cutoff on what we're removing from the high frequencies. But if we go all the way down to a super gentle curve of only six decibels per octave, what we're actually doing is creating a way to shave off just some of the high frequency content from our sounds in a really gentle and not extreme way so that it still leaves a lot of the heart and soul of that sound intact. And I really love this method for just taming some high frequency content, a gentle um, low pass filter at six decibels per octave absolutely magic and so i'm able to use the filters in the quad cutoff module the same way that i'm able to use this six, six decibel per octave slope low pass in the pro q3 absolutely amazing way for sculpting the high end frequencies of your content I'm really excited to share this next technique with you. This is quite possibly my favorite thing to do with the quad cutoff module. The first thing you'll need to do is either patch up a kick drum or use a kick drum sample. We need to start off with a big, loud, aggressive, and punchy techno style kick drum for this, and we're gonna patch that directly into the quad cutoff module. What we're going to do is we're going to take a clock signal and we're going to patch that directly into the CV input and this is going to give us a really unique and sort of wobble effect to this kick drum. I'm going to switch over to direct sound so you guys can really clearly hear what I'm talking about. Check out this magic. example, I've created a techno beat using four different sounds. We've got a kick drum and three different percussion sounds. I'm routing all four sounds through the quad quantizer module and I'm using it to shape the high frequency content of this beat in real time. I'm also using the magic kick drum technique that I just showed you. Let's check this out.
Be sure and subscribe if you're into this kind of content. I'm trying really hard to hit 10,000 subscribers before the end of 2020. On this channel, I talk about everything from Euro Rack modules to making music with iPads. I talk about new gear, I talk about old gear, I talk about sound design and building live jams, all that good stuff. Be sure and subscribe. I'm going to show you a really neat and useful technique for creating a noise percussion groove by running some white or pink noise into the quad cutoff module. The first thing we'll need is a way to hear what we're creating, so I'm just going to go ahead and patch an output from the module directly into my mixer. The next thing we'll need to do is patch some white noise into the quad cutoff, and now when I move the filter you can hear that we've got some white noise coming through and we're filtering that white noise. What we want to do, though, is we want to create a percussive and rhythmic groove. So the first thing we'll need to do is get a sequencer going. I'm going to take a clock signal from the sequence 8 from Synth Rotec, but you can just take your main clock signal and feed that into a sequencer. Now we've got the sequencer going. And what we want to do is we want to use the sequencer to sequence a gate pattern on an envelope. So I'm routing the output of the Golden Shower sequencer into the gate input on the WMD device's Javelin envelope. I'm going to take the envelope output from that, and I'm going to run that into the CVN of the quad cutoff module. Now if I move the filter knob, you'll hear that we're creating some percussion grooves. Turn this up just a little bit louder. And we've got control over the shape of the sound using this envelope now. So if you've got an envelope that has CV controls, then you can automate this. And you can do some neat rhythmic combinations by automating the envelope and rolling the filter cutoff. And you can get really creative with this. You can bring it in and out of the mix just simply by turning the cutoff knob down. What we heard just then is white noise. Let me show you the difference between white and pink noise. Now I'm routing pink noise into the module, and it's a lot more of a deeper sound and a more percussive deep sound. Again, this one is pink noise. One thing real quick that I forgot to mention is the reason that we're using a sequencer to sequence the gate signal here in our pattern is that when we change the rhythmic pattern on the sequencer, it will change our rhythmic pattern. Check this out. So by changing this pattern, we're literally controlling, you know, what the rhythmics are doing here. So whatever sequencer you're using to control the gate of the envelope, is what's going to create the rhythmic part of the sequence. In this example, I'm using the quad cutoff module to create a noise percussion groove like I just showed you how to get set up. I'm also using it to sculpt the high frequency content of the bass line. Check this out.
I really want to emphasize the fact that you can run anything into the quad cutoff module and utilize this last technique. It doesn't necessarily need to be pink noise or white noise, and you don't necessarily need to be going for a percussive type of sound. That being said, here's a really interesting example where I've literally gone to YouTube and loaded the strangest thing I could come up with, which was an opera, and we're running that into the Mazatron quad cutoff. And I'm using the same technique using a sequencer to control a gate to control the cutoff of the quad cutoff. Check this out and see what sort of interesting results this comes up with. <laughs> For this next example, I've created sort of a techno groove, and I've routed the bass line into the quad cutoff module. I'm taking a duplicate of our master clock signal, and I'm routing it into the CV input of the quad cutoff module. This is the same technique that we just used with the wobble kick idea. Using this technique on the bass line gives a little bit of a rhythmic and almost a gated effect on the bass line. And it allows the low frequency content of this bass line to sort of move and dance around the kick drum rather than competing with it on every single step of the groove. It also allows me to really gently sculpt the high frequency content of this groove. Check out what this sounds like. For our last example today, I've loaded some specific modules into this Eurorack skiff so that I can run four chord samples using the Squarp Rample sample player into the Mazatron quad cutoff. Today we're using the Mazatron Poly Envelope Generator LFO module to generate the envelopes for the quad cutoff module. We're starting off here in the rack with the Mazatron clock divider so that I can run a clock signal into this 07 multiple and that I can run outputs from this multiple and send the clock into these four different sequencers. I'm using the trigger outputs from the sequencers to run into the Squarp Rample, and I'm triggering all four samples using these sequencers. I'm also running the sequencers via a splitter cable into one into the gate on the rample and then one into the gate on the Mazatron poly envelope generator. So I'm using the same sequencer signal to, to trigger the sample and also to trigger the envelope with all four samples and all four envelopes. We're taking the four outputs from the Mazatron envelope generator and we're routing those individually into the CV inputs on the quad cutoff module. Therefore, we're assigning four individual envelopes to the four CV inputs on the quad cutoff module. I'm routing the output of these chord stamps into this uh, dope for filter, uh, excuse me, mixer over here, not filter, so that we can mix the audio signals together.
I'm boosting the audio signal a little tiny bit using a Circuit Abbey Gozenta module, and then we're running this into the Noise Engineering Desmodus Versio Reverb so that we can get a little bit of, you know, creative space on these sounds. When we start with all four samples, it's a little bit much, but using the envelope generator and the quad cutoff, we're able to dial in a really nice percussive envelope using the quad cutoff module and getting these chords to actually play nice with each other in the mix. Check out what this sounds like. So what's my final takeaway on this module? I found the Mazatron quad cutoff to not only be super easy to use, but also really versatile and creatively inspiring. If you're looking for some extra filters in your system, I definitely recommend giving this module a look. Thanks for watching.